The starting point for how we think about analytics at Kellogg is that at its core, analytics is a leadership problem. This is a marked contrast to what one normally hears, where most people think about analytics as being primarily an issue that has to do with data science and with technology. And if analytics is a data science or a technology problem, what you need to invest in are more data scientists. In contrast to that, what we believe is that most of the really hard problems in analytics are actually problems that are not of the technology and data science side, but they are managerial in nature. They are issues that mostly leadership has to solve in order to make good headway. The reason why that's the case is because analytics fundamentally requires managerial judgment in order to be successful. But if analytics is our students' problem and they need to be involved in analytics at every step of the way in their career, the question becomes, what makes them successful in managing in such an environment? We at Kellogg believe that what our students need is what we refer to as a working knowledge of data science. And this working knowledge of data science enables three things. It allows them to judge what good looks like. It allows them to identify where analytics adds value. And it allows them to lead with a degree of confidence. And so at Kellogg, we equip our students with this working knowledge of data science and also teach them how to drive business value with it. And we do this by teaching them a variety of classes on analytics, from custom analytics, to retail analytics, to people analytics, to analytics for strategy, to social dynamics and networks analytics, and other classes as well. We have developed a learning experience in which our students learn how to program, and they learn hard data science skills from top data scientists. But that is not enough to lead with big data analytics. Future leaders also need to be able to catalyze their organizations to be able to scale analytics. And that's why we go beyond teaching a working knowledge of data science and also teach our students how to build organizational muscle in analytics. So you see, what happens is that analytics fundamentally is done in response to management questions. And management questions are fundamentally political. And because of this, it turns out that before long, if you have people working for you in analytics, you're going to be in a position where you have team A responding back to you with result A backed up by data science team A. And you're going to have team B reporting back to you with result B backed up by data science team B. And the problem is that result A and result B are not going to be the same. And so you're going to be faced with a problem of how do I tell apart who is actually wrong or right among the people who report to me? In order to solve that problem, you need managerial judgment in analytics. The second thing is analytics fundamentally needs incentive and organizational alignments in order to be successful. A lot of analytics projects fail because it's impossible to gather the data that you need in order to make analytics successful. And one of the core reasons why that happens is because often the profit and loss responsibility and structure that comes from it in major corporation makes data sharing very difficult to achieve. That requires very high level managerial intervention in order to get the data together in the right place to be able to perform analytics on it. The third reason why analytics is a managerial problem is because analytics fundamentally has to be problem driven to succeed. We at Kellogg run a number of executive education programs. And when people come to us, we often ask them, why are you here? And I would say that a solid third of all participants comes with a version of the following story. We have all this data. We are overwhelmed by it. We don't know what to do with it, but I'm sure there's something really valuable in there. What I often have to say in that situation is that there's a good possibility that there's actually nothing valuable in the data. And the reason is that by the time that the firm that we're talking about decided to collect the data, it was collected for reasons of financial reporting, it was collected for reasons of regulatory compliance, but the one thing that often nobody thought about, even for a minute, is how could this data be useful to solve one of the core problems to which analytics lends itself? The last reason why analytics needs to be a managerial concern is that a lot of analytics projects need planning. Analytics turns out to be really hard to accomplish if it's done as an afterthought. For example, if you plan some initiative and the initiative concludes and then you lob your data over to the analytics group and you say, please tell me whether it was successful or not. It rarely works. But what does work is if you pull in analytics people at the beginning of a project and you say, this is what I plan to do. This is what I'll be able to measure. Can you help me put a system in place so that when this is all said and done, you can tell me whether my initiative was actually successful. 
Overall, we want our students to feel empowered about analytics. We want them to be fearless about the technical skills of analytics while realizing at the same time that at its core, analytics is a leadership issue. We think that this combination of having highly trained students on the technical side with students that have a leadership perspective makes our students unique in the market.